When it comes to choosing teleprompter, the auto cue, there are a lot of options available, but when it comes to choosing one that is fit for a professional production or a studio, the prompter people are the company to go to. I've been using the Prompter Power Pro for a while now, but when I need to go to film at my client's premises and I need a teleprompter, it is just simply sometimes too big and too much hassle to drag it with me. It's, it's too big for that sometimes. This a brand new model called Pocket Q V2 solves my problem. It is very portable, but it still does offer the same connectivity and functionality as its big brother. In this video, I'll show you why this could be the only teleprompter that you might need. So keep watching, don't skip, and you are going to find out more about it. Quick disclaimer, I have been sent this teleprompter from prompter people to make this a review about it, but as always, I was not asked or paid to say anything specific about it, so this is my honest and unbiased opinion about it. It is called Pocket Q for a reason. It is small and portable. It comes in different versions depending on what you need. I have one here with a mains powered monitor, but you can order the version uh, or the accessories to configure it for use with smartphones or tablets and for filming with phones or proper cameras. It is a modular system. You build it to what your needs are. So first, it is a portable prompter to use with your smartphone to film with and other phone as a prompter. That's the cheapest option and the most basic one. It is, however, scalable by adding additional accessories to be all-in-one prompting solution for every situation you might find yourself in. Configurations include filming with a phone and prompting from the phone or a tablet. This is possible to be used in landscape or portrait mode, prompting from dedicated mains power reversing monitor and filming with your phone or the camera. Filming with a larger or heavy camera and mounting the prompter on a separate stand. Whatever you do, whatever your workflow, you are covered here. There's an option for you. When you purchase the reversing monitor with your kit, you get telescroll software license with it. This alone is worth $249. Very simple to use and very intuitive to set up an uh, app that makes the whole process hassle-free. I'll talk about this particular software a little bit more in just a second. There are other prompting software packages available from Prompter People, and you can try them all before you buy or just use one you already have. For iPad prompting, there is IQ app available that costs only $10, or you can use any of the other or even free apps available. The whole kit comes in carry bag and in pieces, and it needs to be assembled. It's more portable this way. It's good to check Prompter People website and their detailed assembly video to familiarize yourself with all the parts and what they actually are and what they do. Once you know, it is very straightforward procedure and easy to get it all together and easy to get it all going. I'm a fan of a studio monitor myself. 99% of time I use the teleprompter indoors and this allows me to connect my laptop and to control the prompting from it. It also allows me to correct or add text to the script quickly if needed. The monitor itself has got a lot of connections available, everything from SDI and full-size HDMI to old-school VGA and analog composite connectors. The screen is 4x3 aspect ratio, so your computer needs resolution changing to display the picture correctly and not squashed, squashed in. But not a problem if you use right font as a text is still easy to read even if the display is not set up correctly. I found that 1280 by 1024 pixels resolution works better for it. The monitor automatically reverses the display. Nothing needs changing from the computer side. It needs to be reversed to display the text correctly in the mirror you are filming through and looking at. This makes it easier as you still see everything normal on the computer screen if you need to interact with it while actually recording. The software I have used FlipQ until recently, but I find Telescroll just easier to use. You simply type your script in the software or copy and paste it from somewhere else. You obviously have full control of the font, font size, color, the color of the background, and more. You can use preset shortcuts or create your own to navigate easier around. The biggest feature of any teleprompter is to be able to go back quickly if you make a mistake and you need to redo a part again. With the telescroll, it is dead easy using the keyboard, but you can also use the mouse or my favorite and optional dedicated remote controller like this shuttle queue from Prompter People. 
The teleprompter is very well designed and very well built. High quality see-through glass mirror, which is not affecting the picture quality at all. Include a lens hood, however, might be too small for some, for some bigger lenses, like cinema lenses, for example. This is made for smaller setups. After all, the smaller version of the standard prompter. This is a smaller version of standard prompters. It fits my large 50 millimeter Sony f1.2 GM lens just. It should be okay for most of standard size lenses, even zooms with up to 82 millimeter filter thread. The whole prompter is small and light enough to use it on sliders, jibs, or even gimbals, especially when used with the smartphone as, as a prompter screen. You will need a gimbal like Ronin RS3 Pro or Manfrotto MVG 460 when supporting heavier loads. The price will depend on what kit you go for. Starting from $250 for a basic smartphone prompter to the full WAC package with a reversing monitor costing nearly $600. The whole product stands out really. It's built for heavy use. It's built with a studio or a production team in mind. It is a professional solution. Probably not the cheapest one you can buy, but one that offers a certain standard that is expected on a pro filming set. I'm a big fan and a regular user of prompter people prompters, and this one will certainly be the one that will reside in my kit to go with me on the location shoot. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a video on how to use a teleprompter effectively so you don't look like you are reading. No, just so you know, I'm using one right now. I am reading this. And, and this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way helpful and informative. If it was, please give me the thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. In this video, I'll show you why this could be the only teleprompter. The whole product stands out really, 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 really. really. This is possibly uh, this brand new model called Pocket QV2 solves my problem. It is very portable, but it still does offer the same connectivity and functionality as its big brother. In this video, I'll show you why this could be the only teleprompter that you might need. So keep watching, don't skip, and you are going to find out more about it.